This is how you get cheaper clicks in Google Ads. But before I show you those metrics, I wanna point out at a really important point, and that is the cheaper clicks in Google Ads are not always the best ones. Let me show you why. And it purely comes down to results. Right here, we're looking at 12 months of data, so the previous 12 months, and you can see these two are campaigns in here. They had a much higher CPC, and in some cases, nearly coming up to double the cost per click. However, when you look at the important metrics of the cost per conversion and the conversion rate, you can see that these higher clicks were far better quality and they were producing a cost per conversion of $6 less and conversion rates that were more than double. So while reducing the cost per click that you're paying for in Google Ads is a highly important optimization strategy that you do need to be implementing into your account and it does need to be an ongoing focus of your optimizations. It's really important to note that the end goal is to not find the cheapest clicks. Because what you're really looking to find is the highest quality clicks that give you the best conversion metrics at the lowest price. So a good way of thinking about it and the way that I frame my optimizations is that I wanna look to put downward pressure on my CPC. Because you need to understand how the Google Ads algorithm works, especially when it comes to your CPC or the amount of money that you're paying per click, so that cost per click. And there's two forces in here. There's the upward pressure and the downward pressure. So you need to go through and review some core metrics in your account because if your account is underperforming in some core areas, it will put upward or inflationary pressure on your cost per click. But if you have those optimizations set right and you have some really high performing metrics, you can actually put downward pressure and reduce the cost of each click that you're paying in Google Ads. But remember, the important thing is to just not blindly look for the cheapest traffic. It's all about finding the highest quality traffic at the lowest possible price. And there are four key factors and metrics which influence the CPC that you're currently paying. And these are your click-through ratio, your keyword quality score, your landing page experience, and then finally, the number of competitors that are bidding on the same keywords as you. Now, of those four metrics, three of those are very much in your control. So when we're looking at your click-through ratio, your keyword quality score, and your landing page experience, they are all metrics that you can very much control and look to improve their performance, which then lowers your cost per click. Now, when it comes to that fourth factor of the number of competitors in your market, if there is an influx of competitors and competition coming in and bidding on those same keywords which you're currently bidding on, it will actually have the effect of increasing the amount that you pay per click. And that's just the reality of an auction. The Google Ads algorithm, although it's not a highest bidder always wins, there is a very real facet in place here that, that as more people bid on the same number of keywords, it does actually drive up and increase the cost per click. But the good news is, is that if you can keep those other three factors in check, so you've got a high performing click-through ratio, you've got an excellent keyword quality score, and you've got an excellent landing page experience, that will work in your favor to put downward pressure and to lower the cost per click as much as possible. And remember that that data we looked at right at the start is that in the campaign example I showed you that over a 12 month period, we had some keywords that were costing double the amount, so twice as much in the CPC, but they had double the conversion rate and around about 30 to 40% cheaper when it comes to that cost per acquisition. So right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can show you how to review all of these metrics and how you go about improving these scores. But just in case we haven't met yet, and this is the first video that you're watching, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you really love this training and you would like to learn more about this topic, I wanna to give you free access to a masterclass that I ran in my paid community, which takes you through the deep connected relationship between your keyword quality score and your click-through ratio. Now, I am gonna be explaining it at a top level in this video, but 
In this extended training, I actually go through the extended relationship between these two factors because there is a point where your click-through ratio becomes much more important than your keyword quality score. But I do need to give you a warning that if you're not meeting a minimum standard on your keyword quality score, it doesn't matter how high your click-through ratio is, you're never gonna get cut through and look to reduce your CPC. So if you wanna watch that extended training after you finish watching this one, of course, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's get into today's teaching. Alrighty, let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing that I do want to show you is I want to show you two different accounts. And what I want to show you here is that one account where we're seeing a good relationship between when your click-through ratio increases, it's putting downward pressure on your CPC. And then I want to show you another example of even when we're being increasing the click-through ratio that the CPC is still going up. And let me show you these two examples. So this first one, what you can see right here is that you can see throughout a 12-month period as we've been increasing our click-through ratio. So over a 12-month period, we've brought it up from 6.2% all the way up to you know peaking at 20%, but then coming through to regular months above above 15%. And you can see what this has done for our CPC. Where the CPC started at $5.11, it's now gone down to a bottom of 2.91. And I wanna show you that second example where we did see that increase in the CPC. Once again, it started at 5%. We got it up to peaking at 20, came down again, and then it's gone back up to 18.24%. But you can see all through that time, the CPC hasn't really changed at all. And this is a telltale sign that it has been more competition that has come through and entered into the market. And the reason why we know that is that we can see our core metrics of our click-through ratio and conversion rate has been performing really, really well. And then above that, our cost per conversion has come rapidly down. And you can still see that despite that performance, there hasn't been a change in your CPC. And that's a telltale sign, as I said, that there has been extra competition that has come into the market. Having said that, if we had those extra competitors come in and we hadn't increased our click-through ratio, this CPC would have been drastically higher. Once again, looking at this example through here, you can see that over that 12 month period, we've been able to bring down that cost per click from $5 to it now performing regularly in the $3, right on $4, $3, and then even down to $2.91. So what I wanna take you through now is I wanna take you through the metrics that you wanna be looking at. So firstly, what you do wanna do, if you have been seeing an increase in your click-through ratio, take a longer term view, so at least three months. If you've got 12 months of data, have a look at that data and change your your dashboard metrics so you've got the click-through ratio and the CPC up. I also like to change this over to weekly or monthly. If you've got 12 months, run it on monthly. If you've got less than that, you can run it on weekly or monthly. And then where you wanna go is you wanna go into your campaigns and let's just choose this first campaign here. And then you wanna go into one of these ad groups. And then when you're in one of these ad groups, you wanna go into your columns and you wanna go up to the search bar and type in quality and you wanna see your quality score. And then what you also wanna do is you want to type in your landing page experience. And what you can see in through here is this is brought in our keyword metrics in here. Now, even though we have seen some improvement in this account, you can see that there's still a further way that we need to go. Ideally, what we'd be wanting is we'd be wanting all of these quality scores above a seven. Five is kind of okay, but you'd really want to be getting this improved. And this landing page experience, you'd be wanting to increase this one to getting a good or an excellent ranking. Now, in regards to this client, we have been working with them to be doing a major website update. So that's why that landing page experience is so low. But as you can see, we are working on these quality scores and we have been able to get them up to an acceptable level. So once you've isolated those metrics, if you find out that you do have a low keyword quality score, so if you've got a keyword quality score of a three or four or a five, or maybe even a six out of 10, you wanna be looking at two core factors. What you wanna be doing is that you wanna be adding the keywords that you're targeting and making sure that they're in the headlines and also the descriptions of your ad copies. So let's just say, for example, you are targeting men's black t-shirts. What you would make sure is that you would make sure that your headline has a really clear indication of buy men's black t-shirts, and that you'd also have a keyword mentioned in your ad description. And then for your keyword quality score, the other thing that you wanna do is you've gotta remember with your keyword quality score, it's not only looking about the relevance in your ad copy, you need to also make sure that you've got high relevance in your landing page. So you wanna be making sure that your page title, also your service or your product descriptions, and then just your general content 
does have regular mentions of those keywords. Now you don't need to get into a practice of keyword stuffing and just as a rough guide, you just wanna make sure that at least every 100 words that you do have a mention of your targeted keywords. So for example, men's black t-shirts, if we had 500 keywords, you'd be wanting to make sure that you had that mentioned at least five times. Remembering that once you've got your product title and also your landing page, that's two mentions there already. So when it comes to that keyword quality score, the goal is you're wanting to make sure that the user search term is present in your ad copy and also present in your landing page. So that when someone completes an initial search through to when they see your ad copy, through to when they get your landing page, there's a really strong keyword focus. So that's the way that you go about increasing your keyword quality score. What I do need to point out as well is that once you have made those changes to your ad copy and also your landing page, it can take about two to three weeks before you see any changes to your reported keyword quality score in Google Ads. Now, in regards to your landing page, Google actually does have a free checker and a free tool that you can use that gives you this grading and lets you know how you can improve that. And if you wanna see that right now, just look at the screen right here. I'll also pop that link in the description so that you can go test your landing page after you've finished watching this video. Now, finally, that last metric that we spoke about is your click-through ratio. And the best way that you can go about and increase your click-through ratio is to go through and run a proper ad copy be split testing, where you're going through and testing different headlines and descriptions to see which ones are going to give you that best click-through ratio. And if you would like to learn more about how to complete proper split testing, all I want you to do is to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you in that ad copy split testing video right now. And remember that if you want to see that extended teaching on the relationship between click-through ratio and your keyword quality score, remember to follow that link in the description below. See you later.